Will we ever be able to communicate with aliens? Have you ever wondered if we could actually talk to extraterrestrial creatures? Imagine it, a real conversation with an intelligent being from another world. It's a thrilling question that delves into the science of extraterrestrial language or xenolinguistics. What is xenolinguistics? Is the study of extraterrestrial language. Experts like biologists, anthropologists and linguists are exploring what non-human off-earth languages might look like. Picture this. We've already invented fictional languages like Klingon from Star Trek, complete with a thriving Klingon language institute. But what if real scientists could crack the code of alien languages? Astrobiologist Douglas Vakoch, president of Messaging Extraterrestrial Intelligence, METI International, is at the forefront of this research. He co-edited a groundbreaking book titled Xenolinguistics, Towards a Science of Extraterrestrial Language. This book dives deep into the possibilities of communicating with non-Earth intelligence and is rooted in what we know about human and animal communication. For over six decades, researchers have been engaged in the search for extraterrestrial intelligence, SETI, listening for signals with radio telescopes. Imagine the excitement and challenge of receiving a message from an unknown civilization. Vakoch emphasizes that linguists could be the key to cracking such a code. The recommendations in our book are directly shaping how we will say, hello universe, he says. The importance of intentions. A common objection to Miti is the fear of alerting hostile extraterrestrials to our existence. What if we provoke an alien invasion? Vakok counters this by pointing out that any civilization capable of interstellar travel could already pick up our accidental radio and TV signals that have been leaking into space for the past century. These aliens won't be surprised to learn we exist, but they might be intrigued by our attempt to start a conversation. That's the essence of Meti, to show our intention of making first contact. Universal Principles Vekosh is particularly interested in aliens who have developed the technology to transmit and receive radio signals. In the past, scientists have sent interstellar messages relying on possibly universal principles of math and science as a starting point. But Vakoch suggests there's something even more fundamental. Long before we had math and science, we had language. Perhaps the same is true for civilizations on other planets. The core of language, Jeffrey Punske, co-editor of the Xenolinguistics book and a linguistics professor, offers an interesting perspective. He suggests that while some core aspects of language may be universal due to external constraints, other aspects are unique to human cognition. This means that while the structure of alien language might be similar to ours, the actual messages could be completely different and challenging to interpret. It's a fascinating puzzle that could redefine our understanding of communication. A new perspective on communication. Bridget Samuels from the University of Southern California shares in the excitement about xenolinguistics. Her research on the origins of human language and the limits of variation in human language provides new insights into how unique human communication really is. The explosion of studies in animal communication has shown how communication systems are shaped by cognitive abilities and environmental niches. Samuels and Punska even predict that some aspects of language syntax and externalization could be shared by extraterrestrial languages, constrained by the invariant laws of physics. This opens up new ways of thinking about universal grammar and the potential for interspecies communication. For re-evaluating our uniqueness, by pondering language and animal communication in a cosmic context, we are forced to rethink just how unique language is, even on our own planet. Whether or not we ever make contact with extraterrestrials, xenolinguistics challenges us to reconsider the privileged position we've always assumed human language holds. As Vakov puts it, xenolinguistics shows that human language may not have the privileged position we've always assumed. Conclusion. The quest to communicate with extraterrestrial beings is not just a fascinating scientific endeavor, but also a profound reflection on our own place in the universe. Xenolinguistics, the study of alien languages, pushes the boundaries of what we know about communication, cognition, and the fundamental laws that govern all life. While the challenges are immense and the outcomes uncertain, the journey itself promises to expand our understanding in ways we can scarcely imagine. Whether through universal principles of math and science, or the unique complexities of language, the potential to connect with another intelligent species holds endless possibilities. 
So, as we continue to explore the cosmos and our own linguistic capabilities, we remain ever hopeful that one day we might just say, hello universe, and receive a reply. If you enjoyed this deep dive into the science of communicating with aliens, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Let us know what you think about the possibilities of xenolinguistics in the comments below. Could we one day have a conversation with extraterrestrial beings? Thanks for watching and stay curious.